Guten Yardening. Today we're going to harvest our first ever kohlrabi. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this vegetable in the store and haven't had a clue what I would do with it. I mean, it's a strange looking vegetable, different from just about anything else that I've seen before. Strange, but awesome. Maybe one of the reasons why I haven't had much experience with this vegetable is it's only really recently becoming more popular here in the U.S. Whereas in other places, it's been popular for a long time. Now, when we plant our seeds and seedlings each year, we try to branch out as much as we can and try new things. This year, one of those new things is the kohlrabi, and we're ready to take it out of the ground. I've read there are 22 varieties of kohlrabi. This variety harvests in 60 to 70 days. We transplanted these seedlings at the end of April, so about two months ago, and some of them are already ready. So I would argue that's a pretty quick turnaround for a crop like this. Now it's recommended that the plant be grown in full sun, which in our main garden we have full sun, but we've also planted some of our kohlrabi in the shaded area of our uh, raised bed and it's doing great as well. One of the things that we noticed as this plant was developing is that there's a pretty substantial difference in the size of the bulb. What's your experience? I'm not quite sure why that is. But we have a few here in the back that we're ready to harvest and we're going to take those out right now. To harvest the kohlrabi, you simply grab a hold of the bulb and pull straight up out of the ground. Check that out. You can see the roots. They're about the well, really, the only thing that's supposed to not be edible on this entire plant that I've pulled up are the roots and the stem. The stem is supposed to be vi uh, fibrous, but you can eat the leaves. And when peeling this, it's supposed to be great raw. I know I'm going to try it. Before I pull the second one up, which looks fantastic, uh, you'll notice, I mean, there is... A hole here or there but beyond that we really didn't have a problem with pests and that's cool because that means that there are more leaves that are edible for us it's also nice to not have your crop destroyed so here we go second harvest oh let's get right around the bulb there we go now our soil Our soil is kept so nice and moist, not just from the rain, but because of the mulch that we put down. Boy, that's a healthy, hefty plant. Oh man, I'm excited. Now that we have these two kohlrabi out of the ground, we have some space in our garden and we're not going to let the time go to waste. We're gonna plant some bush beans right where this was before and get a second harvest instead of just limiting ourselves to one. These two kohlrabi have matured nicely, even though they're in the shaded raised bed that I talked about earlier. 
so they're ready to harvest. We're gonna just harvest this one today though. Go again, grab by the bulb. Ooh, look at the roots on this one, right out of the ground. Happy much? Look at this harvest. Now we're almost to the end of June, which means almost every day is a harvest day. But there's something extra special about harvesting a vegetable for the first time. What we know about the kohlrabi is that it's part of the brassica family. That family includes cabbage, broccoli, kale, cauliflower, and others. The taste, they say, most closely resembles a broccoli stem with a nice crisp texture. For the health conscious, this crop is packed with vitamin C and other antioxidants. It's a great source of fiber, vitamin B, potassium, and so much more. We are extremely excited to try this out and to show you some ways that it can be prepared in our next video, if we can wait that long. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, comment, subscribe, and remember, when you're with us, you're good to grow.